Hello everybody, welcome to Hermitcraft. Yes, I am by the monument. Um, we're not going to stay here, but I, I did miss out someone and I felt quite bad about it because because Mark, where are you? Mark has been been around for, for a while now and I feel bad that I missed him out. So, so, so there you go, Mark. I'm, I'm patting you as an, as an apology. That's an apology patch, you know. But what I'm going to do is we are going to head over to the racetrack. Ow. And so I am here once again in the joyous world of Mobtopia. That's what it's called now. Shut up. See? Mob. And over here, mob. Mob, 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 mob. See? Mobtopia. Shut up. Um, okay, so I had a lot of suggestions. I seem to have lost the video where all my suggestions were being, you know, kept. So, so I need to, um, uh, what? I need to design stuff and that chest is foolish so is that one I don't have very many item frames but we need to make one of these stalls a fish stall I think this one seems to work probably better um I don't know um maybe the little blue one no 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 let's let's make the big one have like all the signs because signs okay so i actually need signs as in the sign kind of signs here's your sign okay i have to make my sign i feel most disheartening it ed yep those words i'm sticking by them boop 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 okay so we are going to call this uh no that is not a sign that, that that's a sign this is joe's fishy endeavor i know i've probably spelled endeavor wrong endeavor no that's that looks right to me therefore it's right okay so what we need to do is we need to put some um uh, fish signs so so I'm gonna put one here and here and 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 here and around here oh not around there um let's put one in fact let's take that one off and put one there and there so there we go so we have fish signs and and um where did I put my fish? I, ha I I brought fish for the occasion. Don't you worry. I'm going to put this one here and some fugu up nya. Although that is my favourite fish. I thought that one would be slightly more appetite. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Nobody particularly wants to eat Nemo. Um, but they will if they know what's good for them. So this is this is our fish shop. And we're gonna put some in in the little chests, just to just to, you know, bulk out the uh, the world. Because to be honest, you you need to have um, some realism in your worlds. Uh, I, I I get quite annoyed when like people make stuff like this and then then, you know, they're just sort of left empty. You know what I oh you know what I should do. One second. We need cool chests. So I have actually brought snow. So let's get boop 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 boop. That should do it. Boop 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 boop. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come to me, sand. Come to me, sand. Yes. Yes, you know you want to. Okay, um and, and in the these are these are cool chests. So they're gonna have like ice balls. No, that that's not what I wanted to do. I I need to do this for the next shop as well. Come on, lots of you know ice to keep the fishies cool. So there we go. This is this is this is Joe's fishy endeavor. Which <laughs> I'm sorry. Apparently, apparently my brain is just blur. Okay, so we've got our bakery, um, which we didn't name. We just put signs up on it. So, as we come up here, doo -doo 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 -doo, we have fish. And then as you look up around here, you have more fish. Okay, so that one, that makes me feel better. I need more signs over here. Um, 
But the next shop I wanted to build was sort of like really, really close to the um, the roadway. Uh, I say the roadway as if as if that's a thing. Um, I think I'm going to build it like this is this is the way it's going. So I'm going to build it sort of here. And, and I've brought pink wool. That pink wool is going to be raw meat. Yes, we are doing the meat stall. And I'll be back with all the hanging corpses in a second. You see, I was going to use that as, as a meat hook, but maybe it needs... Hmm, maybe it needs to dangle down a bit more um, in order to look like, like a meat hook. No, that just looks like a signpost with pink wool on it. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do a shop and then just hang hang the meat in the shop, I think, and just hang it, have it hanging in the window. So we're going to have like a little a little little table out here, you know, a place for someone to watch the the, the race as it goes by, and then and then work on that. Okay, so we've got like the little outsidey shoppy bit um like like the, the thing i'm debating making the windows bigger in the building higher because i want kind of like a flat roof like the ones that they have um because that one's like a, a thing and, and and a nice flat roof would probably um work better so i could possibly take this up another one and have like the fence posts on top of the roof hmm i'm gonna have a fiddle okay the front of that stall looks a bit weird to me as it is maybe I should make this whole front piece the um, the chisel stone. That probably would look better. Uh, yeah, that makes it that makes it a feature rather than a random thing. Okay, that makes it better. That makes it better. Um, what I was thinking of having like the the um, where did I put glass in? I did. I brought glass with me. Yay! That's gonna work. All right. So if I put glass panes in in these buildings windows and boop dee, 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 dee. right i want a boop in the middle of course this one is slightly more difficult so we will go boopy 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 um yes so so we're gonna have the meat hanging in the windows and i'm gonna have signs outside saying it's a butcher shop i'm breeding cows um down the road um, at the minute so we can actually get stuff working out um, I'm gonna have a roof on it and then we're gonna have like I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have um, the, the fenced in roof like the, the the houses over there the little public houses and then I'm gonna have like a, a flagpole with a giant wavy flag in the middle sort of like welcoming people to the to the city Okay, I think having them sort of in a row is... Go away! Is a bit too uniform, so maybe I need to stagger the meat a bit so it looks like they're actually in the thing. I've got to figure out a name. I, I want something like... like... Come on, then. If you're not going to leave me alone, might as well get it over with. Yeah? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah, I need to figure out a name. Okay, I'm gonna fath again. Yeah, I think I think that looks more carcassy now that I'm now that I have to think about it. Um, I might have to name. I might have to put signs on these things like like beef and pork and beef shoulder costs, blah, 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 etc. Hmm. Just so people get the idea. Maybe put symbols on the back wall. Okay, I'm still fiddling. I'm still fiddling. There we go. William Joseph James Robert and Sons Butchers, which is uh, the name, the name shortens to Billy Joe Jim Bob. Um, because apparently I am super, super lame. I need to do something about this floor. Sand is not hygienic for meats. Um, and we want some kind of basement to house some more like, like dodgy meats in. Um, okay, I'm going to dig out the floor. Right, so what I decided is I've I've I cut out most of the sandstone actually just because it's it it makes more sense. What I figured is I would have um stone brick stairs sort of around the outside of this sort of area so so it goes down one 
and then in this floor I figured I would lay stone slabs um, sort of like, like like that and all across this floor and have this be sort of like the cold the cold room so so the the, the meat stays cool in in the desert and I need more pink wool I really need more pink wool right so I've changed some of the uh, colors for slightly well I've, I've used like purple stained clay and white and white stained clay just to get it like different textures of different kinds of meats downstairs what I want to do is I want to put in like plinths that the, the, the meats will sit on um, sort of like if I just if I just take this out that, that, that makes more sense and just go boom 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 and then have sort of like you know sort of like well cured meat etc as 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 a thing that 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 comes down here and I'm, I'm gonna have something like 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 we were having before i'm gonna have to do it like that aren't i and then sort of all the different kinds of meat down here as well Oop. in fact i'm gonna finish this room off and then we'll talk right so i've got all the different kinds of meat down here and now where is my snow i had snow at least I'm sure I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I had snow, at least. Ah, uh, snow. Sorry. Uh, those, those noises are coming more and more naturally to me. I, I, I get the feeling that... I get the feeling that I'm, I'm turning into a... Villager. Just, just... Shh. Okay, so if I sort of, you know, put snow on different places and and just maybe shows how long they've been here so like like the white meat has had lots of blood off it okay so i've got uh, you know what i'm gonna have to light this area up um over the meats at least because because otherwise um there will be spawnage of zombies and things will happen so yeah, so we've got like ourselves a little, a little baby meat storage counter. I need to do a counter of some description in there. Okay, it's time to get my work on. Okay, I, I know it's not a long episode and it's not, a, it's not a big thing, but I'm actually like really proud of the little, the little, the little shop of horrors that I have created, in fact. Um, so let's start with uh, William Joseph James Robert and Sons Butchers. Um, so outside we've got finest giblets for the, all like the, the the bits that you you want that are left over, um, and of course that's rotten flesh. I've got some beef and some chicken, and got a C inside for the delicacy. So we're gonna go in, and as you close the door, there are the delicacies, which happen to be spider eyes with snowballs to keep things cool over a long period of time. So it's fresh, free-range chicken over here. Got some nice snowballs, salted beef, dry cured because because the best beef, all the most flavoursome beef is dry cured. Or I'm just talking out my ass. So request your favourite cuts, and they've got like the the sword there to show that they'll cut it. I should possibly put an axe because of bones, but I'll let it go. What is this one? Oh, fresh pork, of course. Don't have that much sausage meat rotten flesh and then you can go downstairs and you've got the cool room mm, not much snow is left over here thanks to the having to light it up but anyway we, we've still got like all the meat hanging down from the ceiling like all the carcasses and I'm actually quite proud of like it, I know it's a little thing and and it's not in the big scheme of things it's not that important but I think, I think, I don't know. I just like having all that detail in there and all the different colours of the meat and stuff. So yeah, this is, this is, this is a nice little thing that goes with my town. I'm thinking that we need to have a candle makers at some point. I think maybe we'll put the candle makers here next episode. So yeah, I think, I think, I think that might be it for today. So yes, I know it's been short and I know it's a bit it's a bit quiet, but 
I, I've, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed making this so thank you everybody for watching um, have a lovely day class dismissed